Complete the identity. So this was something we did a lot of at the time. Complete the identity. We are taking tangent, cotangent, and cosine and trying to simplify it. Okay, remember some of our basic rules when we did this. Okay, we always wanted to FOIL or distribute first. Okay, FOIL and distribute first was kind of our always our, our main rule. If you have squares and ones, then we're thinking about our Pythagorean identities. Those are on the back side of your unit circle if you need them. And when in doubt, try to make things in terms of sine and cosine. Those were our rules for this problem. Okay, so if you look at this example up here, they change tangent to sine over cosine and cotangent to cosine over sine. They rewrote stuff in terms of sine and cosine. They canceled to get 1, and then they saw 1 minus cosine squared and replaced. Okay, let's look at letter A for us. So sine times cosecant minus sine. Thoughts, what should we do first on this problem? Distribute. If you can distribute or FOIL or anything like that, do that first. That's going to make it a little bit easier. So sine times cosecant minus, what's sine times sine going to get me? Sine squared. So sine times cosecant minus sine squared. So we foiled, any, we foiled if we could. What can I do from here? I can write them out. Let's write them out in terms of sine and cosine. So sine is already in terms of sine or cosine. How could I write cosecant as either sine or cosine? Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so I could write it as 1 over sine. Sine is already sine. So we did that. We can cancel signs. I've got a sine on top and bottom, so this cancels. What does that cancel to give you? Not 0. It is 1 minus sine squared. You see 1s. You see squareds. Your eyes should go to the trig identities. My Pythagorean identities. 1 minus sine squared. Oh, I can replace that with cosine squared. Morgan? OK. Questions on 5? Six, solve the equation uh, for the solutions in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Notice that it does say 2 pi, so we're trying to write this in terms of radians and not degrees. Okay, we really just did this in our last chapter, uh, even though you might not recognize it. We did it. 7 cosecant of theta minus 3 equals 4. We are trying to solve. We are trying to get theta by itself. Any time we are trying to solve for something, we are doing PEMDAS in reverse. Okay, I'm trying to solve for theta, trying to get it by itself. So, Aranza, what do you want to do first here? Add the 3. Add or subtract first. So, 7 cosecant theta equals 7. Aranza added or subtracted first. Cool, we did that. Now it says multiply or divide. Juana, is there anything we could multiply or divide here? We got a 7 in front, so let's divide that. So cosecant of theta equals 1. Super. We got to get theta by itself. I don't like cosecant, though. Cosecant is ugly. What is cosecant related to? Sine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change cosecant to sine. How are cosecant and sine related? They're reciprocals of each other. Sine and cosecant are reciprocals of each other. So if I made cosecant sine, what do I need to do with the number 1? What's the reciprocal of 1? It's still 1. So that's not very exciting. But what if it would have said 2? What would I have done if it would have said 2? Make it a half. Okay. But for that one, it's just 1. Cool. Still not done. Still haven't gotten sine by itself, or theta by itself, sorry. I need to get rid of sine. So what is the opposite of sine? Inverse sine. Remember what that means. That means you go on your unit circle. And we are going to find everywhere 
that sine is 1. And we are doing this in radians because the problem asks between 0 and 2 pi. So we're going to our unit circle looking for everywhere that sine is 1. Where is sine 1? 90 degrees, but we're doing it in radians, so we're going to say what? Pi over 2. That is the only place it happens. Notice that it could happen at more than just one place. Like in our example, it is at 4 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. You just got to pay attention there. Questions there? Two left. We're almost done. Find the exact value of the expression. When it says exact value, what are we thinking? Unit circle. We're going to go to the unit circle here. Okay? So we are trying to do unit circle stuff here as we do find the exact value. So it says 5 times cosine of 90 degrees. 5 times cosine of 90 degrees. So I'm going to my unit circle and finding when is cosine, or what is cosine at 90 degrees, Amber? So go to unit circle, go to 90 degrees, what is cosine going to be? Zero. It's x over r and x is zero. So five times zero. Plus three times cotangent of 135. So we go to 135 degrees, Victoria, and we're doing x over y, because that's what cotangent is. What is our x at 135 degrees? Negative radical 2 over radical 2. So what is negative radical 2 over radical 2 going to get me? Negative 1. So cotangent 135 is negative 1. So it's 3 times negative 1. What's 5 times 0? What's 3 times negative 1? My answer is negative 3. Okay, not a hard question. At the time, it was super hard. But now that we've done the entire semester, that's not hard at all. We were really good at those, I hope. Questions there? Uno mas. Remember, this one is a little bit more involved. Okay, look at that example problem on there uh, to try to help you get a, a handle on what we're doing. Okay, there's that example looking through that. Kind of remember. Okay, it was hard at the time, but now, by now, I hope that it's a little bit easier now that we've done it and it's been a while. Okay, so tangent of 2 theta equals negative radical 3. We are finding everywhere on the unit circle between 0 and 2 pi that this is true. Okay, so the first thing I got to do is what here? I can't divide by 2 yet because I've got that tangent. So I need to do inverse tangent first. So again, we just did that last chapter. Remember what that means. It means I'm going to my unit circle and finding everywhere that tangent is negative radical 3. Okay? They're written on your unit circle. It shouldn't be super duper hard. We're doing this in terms of radians. 5 pi over 3. Yep, I agree there. Where else? 2 pi over 3. Those are my two answers. 2 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Those are the two places on my unit circle where tangent is negative radical 3. Okay? There is a, theta is not by itself. There is a 2 in front of it. What does this 2 right here represent? That means you're going around the unit circle two times. Okay, it also means you're going to have twice as many answers. Okay, so those were what I found the first time around the unit circle, but I need to go around the unit circle again. What do I need to do with those numbers to represent going around the unit circle again? Add 2 pi. I'm going to add a circle. It's like when we added 360 degrees each time. We're adding 2 pi. I'm going to add... 2 pi to these numbers, okay, specifically 2 pi over 1. In order to add 
2 pi to a number like 2 pi over 3. I'm adding two fractions. What needs to be true about my fractions in order to add them? Same denominator. Right now, this has a denominator of 3, and mine has a denominator of 1. So I need to change this to be a denominator of 3. What did I, make, what did I do to go from 1 to 3 on bottom? Multiplied by 3. So what do I need to do on top? 6 pi over 3 is what I'm going to add to this problem. Okay, that is the common denominator step. And then remember, we are going to take 6 pi over 3 and add it to those two numbers. So it's going to be 6 pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3, which gets me 8 pi over 3. And 6 pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 3, which gets me 11 pi over 3. Does that make sense what I've done there? I am not done. What do I still need to do with this problem in order to be finished? It's theta by itself. Not yet. What do I need to do to make it by itself? Divide by 2, which is the same thing as multiplying each of these things by a half. So theta equals 2 pi over 6 5 pi over 6, 8 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. Does that make sense what I've done there? Obviously, what else could I do to finish this problem? I could simplify. 2 pi over 6 is pi over 3. 8 pi over 6 is 4 pi over 3. Questions on something we covered today?